All right, um, I'm gonna talk about the uh, the gig economy because I do gigs, you know, and doing them for just this month only in my side jobs, landscaping jobs I do. So I can't handle doing a nine to five right now. So I'm mentally drained, but I'm gonna talk about what I think about the gig economy, you know. Um, yeah, you were like when I do Uber or now I do Instacart now in my car now, I started it, but you get a flexible, um, work schedule. You work when you want, you can be done whenever you want. I like that shit, you know, I would love it, but it's not a career, man. It's not something you could do all day, you know, you'll be struggling because a lot of that even though you're making a good amount, a lot of it will come out of taxes. You gotta write them off, you know? Like, if you're doing Uber on the... In the car, I don't think it's worth it, man. Like, it's good to make extra money, you know? All that flexibility stuff, but you're paying for gas, you're doing all this stuff. That's why I do it on my electric bike and do it down the city, because I have to pay anything for gas I, my bike's electric you know and and it's it, i can make more money doing that you know more in my bank but it's just a side hustle this stuff you know it's not something you can do full time like that's what i think with this gig economy i guess you can make a career out of freelancing you know like making your own websites and I don't know how that works. I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable about freelance, but I heard people can make a career out of it. That's great, you know. But I guess there's some gig economies where you can, and some you can't, you know. But with the Uber and DoorDash, Instacart, like, oh man, I can't stand people like that, dude. I'm trying to speed up and shit and loud ass fucking engines. I don't know about you guys, but. It sounds badass, but hearing that shit all day is annoying. I hear that shit in my house and busy road and stuff. But yeah, I think it's just a good side hustle, you know? Like, you can, I guess you can make a living somehow. You just gotta be minimalistic, I guess. You gotta be very frugal in how you spend your money, you know? Doing Uber and stuff. You know what I mean? Cause my brother tried it. Like he, he did Uber Eats down the city, and he, he's very smart. He can make his own electric bikes and stuff. Like he made me. That's how I'm able to have an electric bike. He made one for me out of scratch. He just learned off YouTube, and he was making a lot of money there and down in Philly. So he he decided to move down there, right? And. It sucks because, like, he was trying to get a phone and at this cricket store, and he left his bike. He, I wish he locked it because it went, never got stolen, but you guys know what, what I'm going to say. His bike got stolen. It was all in a bad area in Philly, and the guy just took it, and it, it was on camera, too. He got the bike back, but the battery's gone, but the bike is fucked up, you know? It's a shame, man. But you have to live a frugal lifestyle to do that. Plus, his rent was like a thousand something a month. It's a nice uh, apartment he was living in, but he wasn't able to uh, pay things, you know? Like, I think it's possible you just gotta, like, be frugal about it, man. Plus, when you're doing the eat bike shit, in the, it's not worth it in the winter because. It gets cold and the battery gets like it, it can't reach more miles you get more issues you might have more weather problems you know what i mean but kind of going off top of the gig economy like uh it's just a side job man a lot of, they just take a lot of taxes off you you know it's just good to make some extra bucks i guess you know Like, I like my taxes to go to things like 
universal health care and stuff, but I don't think that's ever going to happen here. So, I don't trust where my money's going. So, like, like when I'm doing Uber, I don't know where my money's going to Some of, most of the time, you know? Like, I know it's going to some local stuff and shit like that, but Uber, like, once you do Uber for a while, too, and say this Instacart I'm doing right now, you do it for a while, and you get all these points stuff, you don't get those, like, um, like, promotions or quests, whatever you call them anymore. Once you do it for a good amount of time, and then it's not worth it. It's good for extra money, but they take it away from you once you do it a lot, you know, and you know what I'm saying? But what I think about that stuff, like the gig economy and people being self-employed, I don't think... Like, I feel like people should make good money, but at the same time, I don't... Like, when you do... If it's, like, people... If it's an employee, you're not going to be able to get a flexible schedule anymore. And that's something I kind of don't like, you know? That's why I don't... I don't think that it's good to be an employee for Uber. You know, you're stuck on that 9 to 5 shit again. You're not getting a flexible schedule. Even though you get all those benefits and stuff, but it's not enough money. You know, you're not, you're still not going to get paid right. You know, you're, they're going to pay you a, a shitty wage. And they're not going to make you... You know, there's going to be paycheck to paycheck, that stuff. So, I think it's... I don't think Uber and all that... I think it should just be a side hustle. And even though I'm anti-work, it's just... It's a side hustle stuff. You know? Because I, I like people seeing, having a flexible schedule. It's good for college kids, definitely. And people that are in high school, I think it's good for those people, man. Because you get, like, a flexible schedule and everything. Hold on. Hold on a second. I don't want to be too loud, but... Always people parking, dude. Gosh. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just... I think it's a side hustle, this stuff. You can do minimalistic stuff, like, be frugal, but... Yours could be... It's just paycheck to paycheck, man. You know? I wish you could make a living off this. I would rather do this than work for somebody for sure that's why i'm trying to still do my own landscaping but i gotta still learn and something i gotta do things i don't want to do to do get there man you know like work for a landscaping company which is something i gotta do again in the future and hopefully my mental health is right you know even though i hate this shit you know what i mean but if this made you a living like this like gig economy like the not talking about like the freelancing and all that stuff like that. I'm talking about the Uber and that stuff. I would be doing it, man. You know? So. Alright, I'll catch you guys with another video.